I was thinking about Stefan. Hi, Stefan. Yeah, I don't remember what what um, I tried to write to you from Bolivia once. Maybe I wrote too much or something. It was about modeling and. Or well, maybe it was when I was still in Cambridge, I can't remember. You did that thing with James Lovelock and you, you did. It was about biodiversity and large mammals and grazing. Tell you what, my my little I wasn't so ambitious as to think of it calling it an MSc course, but um, my arts and sciences program is not really taking off very well. The guy just came down the railway track and he says he finishes at 5 a.m. His, from his work which is a security guard and he walks home an hour and he collects the beer cans from a few houses that keep them for him and then I think he, he just wanted to talk, so he came this way and uh, and wanted to help me stomp on his beer cans so that they pack into one bag. And the way he, I asked him, I said, how do you sleep? And he said, oh, I've got air conditioning in my He sleeps with the air conditioning on during the day because you can't really sleep. Too hot to sleep in the day, a normal building here. So at least people know where the um, the Center for Arts, State Center for Arts and Sciences is, and they're turning up. But um, the program is a bit disorganized, isn't it? Costa Rica, that was fun for me. I was on the streets in San Jose and. I had a phone and um, I used to sleep in this posh suburb where there were these banks and NGOs. There's like a gastro district of San Jose. And I found this place where I could sleep without being harassed by the police. but. Then one day this guy turned up at four in the morning with a metal bar and he robbed everything from me, my phone and my money and everything. And I just gave it to him. And 
after that I, I, I got freaked out by that and uh, Because I had no clothes or blankets or anything. I tried to find a place to stay and in the end I ended up staying in a, a brothel. So I only had access to my room from 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. During the day, it was people fucking in it. But they cleaned it very well, and it was all right. I remember seeing once um, a photograph of a glass pyramid that someone had built in Costa Rica. I think it was Costa Rica. I sometimes get Puerto Rico and Costa Rica mixed up. But um, I think it was Costa Rica. Somebody, some, I, I figured it was some crazy theosophist thing and built a glass pyramid and put a plaque on it saying, this place is saved. I often thought about that when I was sitting on the street in San Jose. I tell you, it didn't look safe to me. One day, uh, the gates of animals. And yesterday, the guy that walked past had a, was carrying a, the day before yesterday, or the day before the day before yesterday, I can't remember, was carrying a big metal bar, and this guy that came to carry, the, to do the things, showed me his, his knife, it was a good, it was five, six inch blade. It's a good thing none of these people are phone thieves, isn't it? So yeah, the MSC in holistic science. I don't know what I don't know how you're doing filling in the last two um, modules. What do you think of the CERN thing? I remember you writing about the violence that chemicals experience in reactions. You were talking about that. What about the violence that monads experience in, in trying to engage in reactions? It's interesting that um, Newton and Leibniz had such different ways of looking at the world. Leibniz had a, a holistic vision absolutely clear in that. And Newton had a materialistic reductionist vision. And it's on Newton's materialistic reductionist picture of the world that you you end up with atoms involved in violent high energy collisions underneath the Swiss Alps. Well it's not under the Alps is it so it's
I, uh, the stories I heard about CERN were that the beams were incredibly sensitive to um, one assumes some sort of environmental conditions and that some people at CERN even thought that the quality of the of the particle beam because they, they they arrange the experiments down this beam and at, at different stages they take off lines and, 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 and run experiments and um, so it's like a a ring of experiments and some scientists think that, that the quality of the beam did seem to depend on, on who was actually which engineers were actually in the building controlling the, the system. So somebody at CERN had a kind of consciousness is a top-down causal process. Do you speak German, Stefan? These white flowers have all bloomed. <coughs> mm. I think they're some kind of datura. So yeah, Stuart Kaufman, he seems bored. that lecture in Australia. I didn't watch very much of it. Those people at the Santa Fe Institute for Complexity, that, that when you read um, Mitchell P. Waldrop's book, they were all into startups and stuff. They were making money out of their, their research. I guess that's how Stuart Kaufman funded his career, so he got an independent source of income, maybe. some group of people there that started up a 
some kind of stochastic computing company that I don't know what it was that they were doing they were, they were doing some kind of non-deterministic rounding processes in I once heard about some chips that had been designed for numerical computing or something, but they were being eaten up by people who were building trading systems for Wall Street. too complicated. I can't handle it or I can't deal with it. On just a telephone and these apps, you switch from one app to the other and then you lose the date, you lose the point in the one app. And I can't ever work out what, how you, the YouTube app decides whether to leave your, your current video as the current video when you go back to the app or when to trash it and go back and show you the, ho the home screen and show you the rest of the videos that you're supposed to be watching. It's like having some kind of mad, tyrannical boss that never stops. It's fucking crap. a cat coming for a morning hunting session. Not a good start to the day. The thing about enlightenment is it's nothing. There's nothing to say about it. It's like that one and a half page bit of maths that I wrote about Tarski's semantic theory of truth. You say what it is, there's nothing there's nothing there. You've got to open it out a bit and then and then it gets really complicated really quickly. very beautiful well, that that structure preserves the consistency and so when you open it out suddenly you get all of these layers of, of mathematics appearing underneath it and you can put interpretations on the symbols that you're using and you get you get theorems from group theory and things appearing quite quickly I actually produced a, in, in, in 2010, in April 2010, no, February 2010, I, I actually produced a calculus that you could actually do these, that opening out process, just on paper, <clears throat> using little trees, symbols, binary tree symbols, and uh, it worked, it worked. But I lost it all. I lost the, 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 the derivation of that of that algebra. I went back to my house, looked on my computer. I just couldn't find where I'd written down the steps in producing it. I, I, and I, I spent weeks in absolute panic and trying to recover something from my work. And then I got this deep vein thrombosis. And I thought I was going to die. 
I decided to, 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 to step away from that algebra bit and think about the types and so I studied Robin Milner's um, polymorphic type schemes and I did all that to get the because those types are sort of top down as well you have abstract type variables and when you apply a function it changes the the placeholders become whatever the types are of the, of the input so that grows from the top down as well just like the the syntax grows from the top down had a really nice conversation with a very intelligent young lady yesterday morning it was wonderful in 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 accento she works for a company called scanty bodies but she's she'd been in in russia she speaks russian french spanish and english i think And now she works here as a planner for this company. So I think that's the end of my weather report. It's a bit rubbish, isn't it?